All right, I'm back, and I'm here on Twitch. Streaming for the first time in a while. Uh, well, I don't know about the, if the frames are gonna drop or not, so I'm recording as well, just in case. But um, I'm here with Frog. <laughs> I'm here with the Frog Detective because um, I mean it's on sale for like four dollars or some shit. So I wanted to get all three of them, and they're short. So I want to just you know play some Frog Detective. So I'll be doing Frog Detective one. That's it, and then maybe later I'll do like a Undertale thing, but again, I'm recording and streaming, so, because I want to stream, but at the same time, I don't know if my friends are going to die randomly, so I just record in the background, but anyways, now that's out of the way, let's let's get on with this, how about it? Frog Detective 1, The Haunted Island, dude, it's so cool how it minimizes the volume while it's capped out, is that a thing that most games do? What I know about this game, it's like, it's like a no gameplay, mainly dialogue kind of thing with like a very very um damn this is loud am i am i am i let me put it down a bit golly this is loud as shit but like it's like an interactive story almost the interactive storybook is the best way to describe it not quite like a visual novel a bit more interactive gamey but you know you know you know if you know you know whatever but uh yeah rock detective one the haunted island with a very distinct art style you can tell these little guys look at the, look at the cute little detective for us let him go. Look around using, using the mouse. Move using WAS. I come in my office. Magnifying glass. Me with a crab and a fish and interact using left click. Hold on, this mouse is gonna be so high. What the fuck? Come on. <laughs> That's crazy high. Whoa. Put that down a bit. There we go. That's better. There's three of these bad boys. I think the first two are, I mean, they're all short, but it's like, as the games go on, they're a bit longer, but it's like, this one's like an hour top, the second one's like maybe like an hour 30 tops. I may not even, I think the second one's closer to time. The third one's the longest. It's like that, a lot of shit, but whatever. Yeah, hello, who is it? I'm not fucking, <laughs> it's been so long, I don't know what to do with voices. Yeah, it's the supervisor. Night supervisor. Hey, how's life? Yeah, pretty good, I reckon. How are things with you? I mean, the wife just got back from Indonesia. Ah, well, so I'm at the bank in Bali. Let me welcome back, I think. Thanks. Anyway, what are you calling about? Oh, right. I uh, have a case for you. Cool. Pretty spooky one, so hold on tight. I'm holding on. There's a little sloth who lives in Island just off the bay. Mine's his name. So he's been hearing a ghost for about two weeks. So get this. He asked him a ghost scientist. What's a ghost scientist? I don't know. Anyway, he asked some of them, right? And they can't find anything. They've been on the island for two weeks. Whoa. Ghost is still at large. Okay, this voice is stupid. For the detective. The detective's like a cute little frog guy. Ghost still at large. So they decided to say a monkey calls me up. The elf, and they want the greatest investigator I have. So I said to him, I'll send my best investigator. The lobster cop was available. Aw, oh, so we're second fiddle the lobster cop. Look at him. What the fuck is this? What? Is he in space? So I'm asking you, the second best investigator. Stop bullying this thing! Lobster cop's ability is far away my own! That's gonna get annoying to do. I fully understand. Lobster cop's ability is far away my own. Yeah. He's the main character. He's gonna be talking shit, though. Yeah, but you're pretty good, so are you up for it? I don't know, it sounds very scary. <laughs> that have to be very brave. I believe in you, detective. That's just what I needed to hear. Thank you, supervisor. I'll do it. Wahoo! Can you give me a summary of the case before I go? I just have to make sure my volume was working. Sure thing. The basics are, there's a sloth who's hearing a lot of spooky noise. <laughs> this boy sucks. There's a sloth who's hearing a lot of spooky ghost noise. Yeah, we need Joe Swanson. There's a sloth who's hearing a lot of spooky ghost noise around his island. He calls a bunch of ghost scientists, but they're stumped. It's up to you to solve the mystery of the haunted island. Why did you yell the haunted island like that? The haunted island, because that's the title of this case. Fair enough. It's time for you to grab your magnifying glass and get going. See you later, supervisor. Good luck. Thanks. <clears throat> What's this, Cashmere Burberry? Oh, a magnifying glass! Ah, yes, my... Let's see magnifying glass, 
that's all we can read about it. Okay, Pog. Pog! Can I zoom in? No? Oh, I can if I write to it. Okay. Time to solve a mystery. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Grace Bruxner presents. Dun, dun. Holy shit. A Frog Detective Adventure. Ooh. Programmed by Thomas Boker. Soundtrack by Dan Golden. Just kinda... Ooh. I love the soundtrack. Is that the Haunted Island? Larry! Mow the Mouse Mouse. Bernie! Fresh X! The Crocodile? That's my favorite character. And the rest! That's fucked up. Case one. The Haunted Island. There are three cases. Again, I'll do it in increments of, you know, a case of video, slash stream, slash whatever. Slash whatever. Loading, loading, loading. Hmm, maybe a man in a suit. Is it Mo the monkey? Oh no, it's Mo and... Wait, who's Mo? Oh! Made it. Thanks for coming on such short notice. I've heard so much about your adventures. I'm a huge fan. Wow, that's very kind of you. When you figured out who's behind the forest steps in Witchtown, I couldn't believe it. I thought nobody would ever solve that mystery. I'm giving a mysterious voice. I mean, who steals an entire forest? Oh, you've been following my blog post. Yes, I'm Mystery Monkey 49. I come in all the time. <laughs> I even made a funny joke once and you responded. Well, a bit parasocial now, aren't we? Of course, I remember. Hi, Mystery Monkey 49. Looks like Elmo. Please, Mr. Monkey 49 is my online name. You can just call me Mr. Monkey. <laughs> of course. Can I ask you some questions about this case? Questions? Yes. What would you like to know? <laughs> the resident. The resident. A good starting point. My the resident of the island is? Ah, that'd be Martin. You can find him hiding in the forest. I think the ghost can't catch him there. Hmm, very interesting. I'll investigate. What would you like to know? Where to start? That's a good question. Where should I... Who should I talk to first? Duck me already! <laughs> Duck me already! Okay, who should I talk to second? Hmm... Larry, the tall red one. What's the... I need a voice for this guy. He always wants to meet new people. Although... I think mostly he wants new people to meet him. Not so much the other way around. Don't check it out, think! What would you like to know? Nothing right now. I'm good, I think. Thank you, sir. I think I'll come back later after some investigation. Turn it around. Oh, Jesus. I can talk to Larry the... Okay, let's talk to Larry. He said Larry next. Oh, so these are all ghost detectives or what? Or ghost scientists? Hi, oh, it's me, Larry. <laughs> that did not do it. <laughs> the noises are not coming from me. I did. I, Larry, did not make these spooky noises. That's like more suspicious somehow. What? <laughs> Are you even listening? I said I didn't make the noises. No, I heard it. I don't like being accused like this. I'm not accusing- Oh, you're not? <laughs> That's such a relief. Can I- Are you gonna ask me questions or what? Ask me that, the questions I mean. <laughs> the noises. What can you tell me about the noises? Firstly, I'm not the one making them. Yep. But I know where they're coming from. <clears throat> what? They're coming from the cave in the forest. Have you told anyone? Nobody listens to me. They say stuff like, Well, Larry, if you won't listen to us, we won't listen to you. Which is so weird, because I do listen. Maybe they mean- I am a really great listener. So how do we get in the cave? Well, I need a few things. Get through there, you'll need some sort of explosive device. Is that safe? We're dealing with ghosts here, detective. No, this is safe. Anyway, I'll need a few things. Look up an explosive recipe in one of the old chemistry books. I need toothpaste, some wool, a chunk of pure gold, and some pasta. No, so the normal explosive ingredients then. Just a standard explosive recipe. Yes, if you want to get in that cave, bring me those ingredients. I'll do my best. Ask me that. The 
questions, I mean. That's, uh, oh, ingredients. Can you list the ingredients for the explosive device scan? Toothpaste. Some more. A chunk of pure gold. And some pasta. Thanks. Ask me that. The questions, I mean. Explosion. Let's make some tag money. Uh, yeah, Detective, we still need toothpaste, some wool, a chunk of your gold, and some pasta. Thanks. I'm good, man. I'm good. Goddamn. I'm good, thanks. All right, what about you? What art? Oh, pasta. Can I have your pasta, sir? What are you, a bear? What? Is he a koala, maybe? Hey, you're not Detective, right? The one that monkey keeps going on about. That's me. I'm so glad they finally brought someone else here. I know nothing. I really shouldn't have taken this job. Why did you take it? No. I'll be honest, I thought it was a secret agent job. Why would you think that? The job listing said ghost scientist. That didn't seem like a real job to me. <laughs> I thought it was like a cover, you know. One that only smart people could figure out, like me. It still could be a cover. Maybe they're testing you. Oh, no. You're right. I better be competent. I'm only joking. Sure, sure. Can I ask you some questions about the case? What else do you want to know? About this hole. I didn't notice that big ass hole on the ground, sir. I see that. What's in this hole? This voice is horrible. What do you know about the noises coming from the hole? I mean, I'm not good. He's an old man. What if you. I mean, I'm not good at this job. I've been good at other jobs that he's letting you know. But it does seem like the noises coming from this hole are from a natural creature. It seems otherworldly somehow. They have a weird and distinct tone. Sometimes it sounds like a bird's call, but only sometimes. Wow, that's a lot of good information. Thanks. Yeah, it's a very good at uh, finding things out, if you know what I mean. What is that? What are you implying? I don't... Bernie, I'm not a secret agent. Oh, right. True, true, true frog detective. <laughs> what else do you want to know? Secret agent. You mentioned you want to be a secret agent. Why? Oh, uh, uh. Secret agents get the best stuff. Like, for example, you've got a cool magnifying glass. I want one of those. I'm not a secret agent. Sure, you're not. A wink. Get the fucking fucking Yeah, get this guy the hell out of here. How do I? How do I? How do I do this? How do I? How do I, uh, hold on. I do 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 Hold on. The main thing I was worried about was lag. Because, I mean, light's fine, which is good. If it's frames did an encoder shit, then I can always just use shadow play. But, uh, that's not what I'm trying to do right now. So, okay, well. What a fucking. Whatever. Now, nah, whatever. Get the fuck. Oh, I'll get the fuck. Does this dude do? Does that change anything? No? Okay, oh well. Well, I mean, it is what it is. Just too laggy. Hmm. Any way to stop it? I don't think. Hmm. I don't. Think, hmm. Do I want to stop here and just switch to shadow play? So we're good, or maybe I do that and then I can just mash the two together, so I don't uh have to worry about that. Yeah. Sure. Right. Maybe it's because I'm streaming and recording. Maybe that's the issue. Maybe if I. I stopped recording. Yeah, the CPU usage goes down quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's a gamble. Fuck it, we're gambling. But I'll, I'm, I'm a gambling man. I'm a gambling man. All right. Even if I can't be a secret agent, the things I give up for a magnifying glass, there's nothing I want more. Hey, what's thing? What else do you want to know? What mine? Why do you want a magnifying glass again? What do you mean by? Everyone knows that the magnifying glass is the coolest and secret agent atoms. I always prefer the spy watch. How could you a secret agent not know that? What is it? Fine, fine, you're not a secret agent. What am What else do you want to know? Alright, nothing right now. Can we yoink this pasta from now? What's that, Ricky Tony? Um... Penny? 
I don't know enough pasta. Can I have this? Yum, but it's not mine. Can I talk to you about it then? Yeah. I want your pasta. What do I gotta do for your pasta? Questions, questions, questions! Who, what else do you want to know? Oh, probably if I give him the magnifying Okay, duh. If I give him the magnifying glass, he gets pasta. Okay, so that's step one of... Is there something over here? Oh, this dude is swagged the fuck out. Look at him. Just chilling, vibing. This is just me. This is me 24-7. Now you're trying to go on vacation in a sunny, in a sunny place. Just lie down on the thing, read, sleep, drink. That's the life. Howdy. This is what he's... Yeah, howdy. Are you the, uh... Yep. Great, you bought my toothpaste shipment? Huh? Uh, no. I'm the detective. Oh, okay. Can I call you D-Tech? I feel like everyone has the same voice. Yeah. Nice. I have some questions. Is that okay? Take it away, D-Tech. I mean, this voice is so good for him, though. Your clothes, your trip. Where'd you get that swag? Uh, Neiman Marcus? Why are you wearing a lab coat like hell kind of It's my day off. <laughs> I've worked so hard for the last two weeks. It's very important to take a break and get some sun. You're right. Uh, how about the sun? How about taking the day off? Yeah, I'd pick a great day for it. Sorry to question when you day off. Take it away, Pete Deck. He's got my favorite. He's a cool little... He's just swagged out and chilling. I don't care what I'm saying, but you have wonderful teeth. Oh, oh thank you. I'm glad someone finally noticed. How did you get so friendly, white? With Dr. Tight Smiles, 101 toothpaste, tooth whitening cool paste for teeth, of course. <laughs> Dr. Tight Smiles, 101 tooth whitening cool paste for teeth. I get a shipment here every three days. I go through the stuff so quickly. Not in my last two. Wow, where can I get some of Do. Do you have teeth? Um, no, well, I can eat my tooth, but I would need something else to keep my mouth fresh. Gotta think about it. Can I ask you some more questions? Take it away, be that. All right, so I got so it's like a it's like a it's the gameplay is it's like it's like fetch quests, right? So I need to find something for the toothpaste. I know what I need for the rigatoni. I need magnifying glass. What's up with you? What's in your hand? Seashell. Hi. How? What are you doing in there? It's the wedding. But there's a storm. It's not raining yet. Besides, it's not actually that unsafe to swim in storms. Everyone keeps telling me to get out of the sea, but it's safer in here than it is up there. Why is that? No ghosts in the water. Ghosts can't swim. How do you know? Martin said. <laughs> it's like so horrible. You don't look that happy in there. I guess I'm not. Sorry to hear it. Thanks. May I ask why you're so sad? Well, it's kind of silly. I really want a magnet. I told you it's silly. Why do you want a magnet? Well... Go on. My dream is to attach a magnet to a boat and hold on. Oh, why? Boats are fast. I'm not fast. If I hold on to the magnet, I'll be really fast too. <laughs> nice. <laughs> right? I don't have any idea where to find one, though. And even if I did, there's no way I'm getting out of here. Not until the ghost is found. That's interesting. Is there anything you need to know? The magnet. I love the visual of this game also, I forgot to mention. Why do you want the magnet again? So I can attach it to the back of a boat and zoom along, obviously. If it swings the deal and gives you this big shell in return, that might be magnetic, but it's not. What do you think a shell was magnetic? What are you, a dumbass? How was I supposed to know? What am I, a scientist? That's a fair point, actually. Yeah, okay. Actually, it's not a fair point. See, shows are fucking magnetic, you dumbass. This is there anything you need to know? The ghost. What can you tell me about the ghost? Well, not much, I guess. I heard noises coming from the holes around the island. They freaked me out so badly that I grabbed my floaty and got in here. How long have you been in the water for? Hmm, maybe two weeks. Whoa, are your feet wrinkly? Ew, I don't know. Two weeks? Dude, they're probably, like, dead. You should check. Maybe later. Is there anything you need to know? I mean, that voice fucking sucks, but low-key it fits. Nothing for the moment, but I'll come back. It's your thing. Alright, bye, man. Talk to these guys. What's over here? 
pursue some detective work by me. It's a koala. Who took my sunglasses? Give back. Remember, do not split up when searching for ghosts like Scooby Doo. True. Never split up. Beakers, test tubes, Erlenmeyer flasks. Note some holes, noises. Need some tomatoes for soup. Who is ghost? I'm not qualified. This might come in handy. Oh, I got the magnet. Okay, sick. So I'll just go for the shell. Maybe the shell can go for the toothpaste? Let's check it out. I got your magnet, little man. I don't have to do the stupid ass voice anymore. Well, always with the questioning. Is there anything you need to know? I bought you a magnet. What? Like, a real one? Are you for real? Yeah. This is the dream come true. Thank you so much. No problem. In return, I'll give you this big shell. I don't need it anyway. Great, thanks. Wow, a real magnet. All right, I don't have to do that voice ever again, so that's nice. Oh, there's more people on the island. I even found the main dude. What's his name, Martin? Martin Scorsese. Pog! So you, a lot of boy, boys. Science line, don't go in. Hello, what are you, sheep? Noodle. Boy. How's the game? Well, uh, fine, I guess. Bored, mostly. Bored? That's suspicious. Suspicious? Why? Surely you can't just say I'm suspicious. There is no rule against it. I'm not being suspicious at all. I guess not. Sorry for calling you suspicious. That's okay. Why are you bored? Isn't hunting ghosts supposed to be exciting? For the first week? Sure, not now, though. I've been at this post the entire time. I'm shedding everywhere. Gross! I know. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Ask away. Your wool. Why are you shitting so much? I haven't had a trim in ages. It's so yuck. Split ends everywhere. I'm usually getting cut once a week, but it's been two weeks now. Yuck. So gross. It's totally fine. True body positivity. Thanks for trying to spare my feelings, but there's wool everywhere. I think everyone's grossed out by it. No, sure, surely that's not true. Yeah, maybe not. But it feels true to my heart. I think most people like wool. It's used to so much stuff. Like what? My jumper's made out of wool. My jumper? <laughs> Queen has he pull up. <laughs> it's a British game because it's a jumper, but... <laughs> I see the word jumper, I think of basketball. My jumper's made out of wool. Uh, are you for real? Yeah. That's weird. It's weird that you're wearing my hair. That is true. You, that's kind of fucked up, Park Detective. Wool's pretty gross, so I keep my short. I don't think wool is gross at all. Okay, but what if I wear a coat made out of your slime? What? Ew! Gross, right? Sure, but slime is kind of gross anyway. I'm saying that as someone who's really slimy. Wool is worn by most people. This is the first time I've heard of someone wearing wool. I think that makes you the man. Plus, I'm pretty sure the shit you're wearing as well. What? I'm wearing another sheep's hair? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Gross! I'm happy to take your wool away from you if you'd like, and your own wool, but you should. Ugh, yes, please, but you need something to clean it up with. Like, uh, broom, or, like, fire. Oh, okay. How do we use fire? Okay. I can't believe I'm wearing wool. What if it's Barney's? A, a cousin named Barney? Mind if I ask more questions? Let's go away! That's all. Okay, now the encoding's still pretty bad. So I'll probably. I'm gonna end the stream here and then do Shadow Play because the encoding's kind of fucking up the game. Alright, well, I'll be back in like two seconds. And jump! No, cut! Fuck! I made a joke and I forgot. I was talking to the Shadow Play, the mouse tracking for some reason was working. So I'm back. That fuck, man. I teed up the joke and I fucked it up. Fuck! Whatever. Alright. Talk, finish talking to the wool man. Noodle. I may not have all the answers, but go ahead, ask away. Uh, the hole. What can you tell me about this hole? I hate this hole. Why? No one does anything. It's a hole. I'm a ghost scientist. I want to see ghosts, not holes. Maybe the ghost is in the hole? Have you looked? I haven't looked. No ghost is there. It's just a pretty deep hole, but it gets smaller as you go down, so maybe there's a ghost further down. Do you hear any ghost noises coming from the hole? Sometimes. But not as many as Bernie and Larry's hole. The last one always the hole. So what you gonna get over there? <laughs> oh, no, oh. I know what they can do about noisy holes. <laughs> Who's stopping me? 
the boss. It's the boss. That. I don't know. Maybe mystery monkey. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Mind if I ask some more questions? Let's go. All right. So he needs a, a, a broom, a mop. It's, oh, so that's wool. Can I check the wool out? <laughs> Maybe I should listen to the sign. <laughs> Alright, is there anything? Any hidden items? Uh, it looks like most things are gonna be just found through dialogue, not through like collecting in the overworld. <laughs> in the overworld. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Ew. Who the fuck is that? Hello, hello? Person? How you doing? Freaky. Okay, there's a lot of people here. Hold on. So we got the king. Plus oh, a stick bug. Ugh, dude. Oh, broom. Give me that. Give me that broom. Got him. I'm just gonna look around for extra items right, I can pick up. I'm just a dumbass. I'm pretty sure I picked up one of them. We got the mouse. Right, I'm, gonna get the, I'm gonna get the broom. I'm gonna get the wool. What the shell? What's the shell for, though? It wouldn't help with teeth, I don't think. We're probably one of the guys in the middle. Alright, I wanna give I wanna give the broom to you, sir. Hey, I got the broom. Ready to clean? Yeah, it's amazing. Thanks, detective. Can I keep this broom? Absolutely. Not mine. <laughs> Can I keep your wool? Uh, it's still weird, but yeah, knock yourself out. What? I mean, like, take all the wool you want. Not physically knock yourself out. Phew. Freak ass frog detective. Yuck. Got some wool. Buggers. It's so gross. Wait, so I got wool. What do I need for the explosion? I need wool, pasta. I'll just interact with everyone. Alright, let's go with the map. Duck. What the fuck was that? I just hit a dab. Ah! Stop right there! Why? My shells! Don't step on my shells! No, I won't. We can't be sure of that. I guess not. They're very fragile and small. Aren't we all? I guess. Please be careful. Okay. Are you still gonna stand like that? Yeah! Why? I'm alarmed! I'm on alert! I am protecting my shells from dangerous frog feet. Wow! Sorry, I'm just worked out about my shells. Don't make me rude, but what shells? I can't see any shells. That's because they're small! How small? Too small for your weak magnifying glass. Wow! Oh. Wow! Sorry, but it's. I just puked. Sorry, but it's the truth! I had to get this one specially made for my tiny shells. Fine. Can I ask you some questions, Neil? Ask me questions, just be careful! Okay, so I can probably trade the the big shell for the magnifying glass, I assume. Why don't you just get a bigger shell? Ha! <laughs> you fool! <laughs> hey! Sorry. It's just that there's not many big shells around here. If I could get one, sure, this magnifying glass would be useless to me. But I don't see a big shell around here, do you? Ask me questions, just be careful. I, I have a big shell, actually. Funny enough. I have a big shell if you want it. What? How? It's a long story. Oh, in that case, I don't care. I hate stories. What does his voice turn like weird? Okay. Anyway, I totally want the shell. <laughs> Can I swap you for it? I have this magnifying glass to look at the tiny shells. <laughs> but I won't need it now that I have this big shell. Cool, thanks. You're still standing weird. I'm still on alert. Here's the magnifying glass. Alright, Pog Jam, we got the magnifying glass. We got the magnifying glass. Okay, we got a, a, a mouse. Hold on, I just want to check something real quick. Make sure it's all good. Hello. Are you okay? Yes. Are you sure? Well, I have just never talked to a detective before. I've heard so many nice things about you. I don't want to be embarrassing. Uh -huh. If I'm embarrassing, that would be very bad. You're not embarrassing. That's very good news. But the conversation isn't over. There's still time. 
I have to be careful. Oh, well, is it okay if I ask some questions? You have some questions? Questions, yes. You, you were nervous. You seem very nervous. May I ask why? Duh, because of the detective thing. I told you. Um, I'm afraid of detectives. Maybe when I was a kid, I had a bad dream about a detective. Something like that. I, I don't know. I'm sorry to hear about that dream. What? Oh, I didn't actually have a dream about that. So, Look at the fucking koala in the back looking at us. Freak ass koala. So why are you afraid of me? Fine! You've worn me down. Damn your extreme detective skills! I'm nervous because of Mystery Monkey. Uh, Mystery Monkey's a huge fan of your blog, so I don't want to make a fool of myself in front of you. I just think Mystery Monkey is super neat. And I don't want to be embarrassing in case I mess everything up. Oh! Oh! Is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. There's a dance competition coming up tomorrow. I want to compete and show Mr. Monkey that I'm really good at dancing, but I don't know what style of dance will impress them. Could you ask Mr. Monkey and find out? And give you that mouse wash, mouth wash in return. Sure thing, I'll do my best. Questions, yes. Alright, alright. So we can go. I'll come back later. Oh, oh, what are you turning to me? So, okay, I'll go with the magnifying glass for the. Or let's talk to this guy first. The king. What? Who are you? I didn't mean to start on you. I'm the fraud detective here from the agency. Oh, okay. Don't sneak up on me like that. That was visible for the entire approach. Well, fine. I, uh, I just don't, don't look so spooky. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll, I'll do my best. Sorry I'm so cranky. I haven't slept in two weeks. I'm Martin, king of the island. You're a king? Well, when I got here, there was nobody else on the island except for me and Fridley. Who the fuck is Finley? So I thought it was fine to declare myself king. Finley? I don't think Finley cares about that sort of stuff. Finley wants to care about the dance competition. No, I mean dance. Who's Finley? Oh, okay then. Do you mind if I ask a few questions? Go ahead. You got a question for me? Dance competition? Dance competition? You mentioned a dance competition. Oh, what's correct? Jesus. You mentioned a dance competition. Can you tell me a little bit more? It's tomorrow. Anything else? Must dance for wins. Okay. A question for me. Who's Finley? Yeah. You mentioned your friend Finley. Who's that? Finley lives on a nearby island country of his every few days. Thanks to my child Finley, she was talking about the, the songs she wanted to dance for, to, for the competition. Her moves are pretty amazing, not like me. She'll probably win. I haven't seen it in a while. She's she probably still prepping for the competition. This tomorrow. Not that I'll be able to compete with, with this whole uh, spooky situation going on. But I'm watching Chai's. Got questions for me. About the noises. Can you tell me about the noises and where they're coming from? I'm not exactly sure where they're coming from, but I know they're coming from a ghost. How do you know for sure? I have a work about ghosts. It's called the Ghost Guide, foolproof way to detect spirit. Diamond, most of it. Anyway, the market said that most ghosts can be seen, and get this, I haven't seen a single ghost yet. <laughs> the proof is in the pudding, it's all there. A question for me? It's like fog, liquor, and fog, and fog, and liquor, your nerves. You seem so nervous. Is there anything I can do to help? It's just the ghost turning me down. I haven't been able to sleep. I'm kind of annoyed too, because I usually love hearing stories about ghosts. I read all about them on cyberweb.com. But now, I'm living one. I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of things. One of the grave, more like. <laughs> what? Let me watch this in my head. I guess I mean, like, we'll probably die before this result. It's very dark. Cool. Dark! Just like the conclusion to this town. We're not gonna die, man. We're not gonna die, man. We'll be alright. Sorry for being a brother. You know, I'm a good detective, right? I'm sure every kid you're taking on. Check the mystery of how to put a hat on. My head is in strange shape. It really is. The point is. Damn, yeah. Maybe in the middle, the, you can have a little hat. They look kind of stupid, though. You're safe. I'm gonna find the culprit. Best thing you can do is sit up relax. Everything will be okay. But I'm still okay. I'm pretty, really hard to calm down. I understand. Ghosts are scary, but it might not be a ghost. You really think it's not a ghost? I don't know for sure. No. Let's try visualization exercise. Do an exercise. What's a visualization exercise? This thing will be pretend. This guy is drunk off his ass. He's off his rocker. I imagine you are on a beach, surrounded by chronic waves. Feel the cool breeze on your face. The waves slowly move in and then out. It's a cold, it's a safe beach. What beach is it? 
This is the same week. There's a ghost here. There's a ghost here. Right, I knew it. No, just on holiday. No, okay. Where is it? On a road trip. Cool! Come with me to my We're on a road trip. But a ghost is on the road trip. Great point. Continue. The waits are coming in and out slowly. Nothing to worry about. No ghosts are in at all. The ghost is on a road trip. Yep, nothing to fear. A nice sandy beach. This man in the ocean. How do you feel? So relaxed. Great, me too. Thanks so much, detective. That's okay. No, I want to give you something to thanks. Perhaps a piece of my crowd. Was that cheese? A chunk of pure gold. Wow, that's so fine. It's really heavy. It's made of pure gold. Why? He just broke that off with his bare hands? Jesus, dude. Well, I like gold. I like gold. Okay. Got questions for me? Not at the moment, no. All right, I'll be seeing you then, sir. No questions for the time being. No problem. All right, so we gotta go ask for the mouthwash, which will get us the. We got the macaroni. We can get the macaroni. Oh, I didn't click the hole. Can't get any further down. All right, so let me get that macaroni. What was his voice? Our questions, questions, questions. What else do you want to know? Use a magnifying glass, man. I have a spare man. I have a spare magnifying glass if you're interested. Oh, you're interested? Are you kidding me? That's very literally nothing I want more. Here you go. This is the best day ever. All my dreams are going true. Anything I can do to repay you? Can you help with your receipt range business? Again, not a secret agent. Fine, fine. I can give you my lunch. Ooh, we're talking. Best as always. There's one thing I love. Apart from the thrill of secrecy, it's pasta. Anyway, my appetite is satiated from delicious of this magnifying glass. That's a weird way to avoid that. Whatever. Would you like the pasta? Heck yeah. All yours. All right, so I got the pasta, I got the wool, I got gold. Is that a, what else do I need? I need the toothpaste, obviously, there's something else I'm forgetting. What's the largest point? More questions? Ask me them. The questions I meet. Toothpaste, some wool, chunk of your gold. Okay, okay, yeah, so we're, we got the last item. We just gotta talk to Mystery Monkey 49. What was his voice? <laughs> this all suck, man. I think it was Joe, no. I thought Larry was Joe Swanson. Are you Joe Swanson then? Yeah, you can be Joe Swanson. Questions, yes. What would you like to know? Dance styles. Hey, uh, you uh, you like uh, dancing, um, dance styles? I don't understand. Uh, I like dancing a lot if that's what you're asking. Yeah, kind of. Well, what type of dancing do you like the best? Well, I basically only have one move. Yeah, but like, uh, if you saw someone dancing, in what scenario would you most likely be like, this is a great dance? What? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, what dance style do you like the best? Oh, um, I think break dancing. Is, what the fuck? What is it? His voice is all over the place. I think breakdancing is so neat. If I saw someone breakdancing, wow, I would swoon. I would even go so far as to say, if I saw someone breakdancing, I would be so deeply impressed that I would want to hang out with them at all times forever. That's great. Sorry for such a strange question. That's okay. I'm sure it's important to the case. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye. All right. Got a monkey fact. <laughs> monkey fact. Monkey fact. <laughs> monkey fact. Monkey fact. All right, we gotta go talk to Mo now. Mo, good news. I found out what your crush wants to dance. Do you want someone to wants dance? To... I don't even have a crush on him. I know, I know what you are. You have some, <clears throat> you have some questions. Questions, yes. Hey, talk to Mr. Monkey. Oh my gosh, did you mention me? What did Mr. Monkey say? Mr. Monkey hate me. I'm so embarrassing. <laughs> This voice is perfect. I didn't mention you. Who? Mr. Monkey likes breakdancing the best. Breakdancing? I think I can do that. Did you start practicing now, though? Good luck. Thanks. No, here's the uh, mouthwash before I forget. Cheers. Got mouthwash, mouthwash. I hope you get it, man. I hope you two live happily ever. Let me see the, let me see the moves. Uh. Yup. 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 Hey! Ayy! Okay, okay, Mo. 
You're shooing to win. What's Larry's voice? I forgot his voice. I don't know. All right, Fresh X. What's up, my man? My main man. Got you your mouthwash. Back for questions. Take it away, D Tech. Mouthwash. He's just, he's just me. <laughs> he's just a regular voice. I need some mouthwash for you. Amazing, thanks. Am I able to use your toothpaste? I almost forgot. Here you go, D Tech. Got some toothpaste. D Tech is kind of a fire nickname. He's, he's so sweet. I wish I was, man, I wish I was him. Look at him. Just living life. Just living life, man. God damn. So, so cool. He's so cool. Look at me after dinner. That's stupid. Alright, I got the ingredients, big man. What's his voice? Country? More questions? Ask me them. The questions are me. Explosion. Let's make him dynamite! Let's see. Wow, you got everything. Yep. Amazing. Shall we make some dynamite? Yes. Let's do it. Nice. I'll cook him some dynamite and we can get exploding, baby. Yeah, sure. You're like a telecaster or whatever. I don't fucking know what that voice is. Whatever. Who gets a fuck? Let's make it. Well, this is it. Yep. Time to blow this cave up. Larry. Explosions are dangerous. <laughs> Sorry, time to uh, carefully blow this cave up. <laughs> Thanks. No worries. I'm nervous. Me too, and I'm not even coming into the cave. <laughs> You're not? I don't like dark spaces. I'm a sunny boy, baby. I'm not a baby. Sorry. Anyway, good luck. Look after yourself in there. Thanks, Louie. Well, let's do this. Completely. Damn it, just chuck that shit. Oh! <laughs> I love that ragdoll animation. Trying to find out if it's a ghost or not. I'm so pissed. I ordered this brisk, because on the picture it said brisk sweet tea variety, but I just have the regular lemon iced tea. Oops, I fell down. Whatever. A lot of mushrooms. Was it Mario level? <laughs> That's horrible. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? Numpty Dumpty? Is that a Twinkie with legs? Okay, hips. Okay, hips. I see you. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm stanced up. Frog Detective is... Frog Detective is stance on business. Oh, hi. Oh, it's Finlay. Finlay! I didn't do... Look at him. Stanced up, ready to karate chop the fuck out of Finlay. Who are you? Are you a ghost? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't think so. Are you sure? Hmm. Yep. <laughs> That's great. You're not wrong. So, uh, who are you? Finley, who are you? The detective. Howdy. Wait a minute, uh, Finley, I know that name. I'm pretty well known around the local dance circles. That's not it. Oh, you're Martin's friend. Yeah. What are you doing down here? Practicing for the dance competition. It's tomorrow. How long have you been down here? Uh, hmm. Geez, like two weeks, I guess. I didn't realize. <laughs> Two weeks! Have you seen any ghosts around? <laughs> no. Just me down here. Does Martin know you're here? I don't think so. He never comes down here. Really? Why not? He thinks every dark space is haunted. He reads all those ghost books and thinks there's a ghost and every can crevice. Wait, but if we had to blow up the rock to get you out of here, were you just locked in here? That's been a week or two? Have you just been living in off mushrooms? Where have you been, like, pissing? Yuck! That's gross. Also, I got Dark Souls 3. Not we're not gonna stream or record that, obviously, but... Oh boy, I can't wait to play that off stream. I'm excited. After that, I just gotta do 2 and Sekiro and Bloodborne. And Lines of P, I guess. That's up later. And then Dark Souls 3, damn. It's good for me, though. Perfect spot to train. You've been dancing for two weeks straight? <laughs> yeah. Aren't you tired? I mean, I take naps, and these mushrooms are super nutritious. 
Gross! Mushrooms are disgusting. Whoa, whoa, chill out on mushrooms. Mushrooms? A nice, like, sauteed mushrooms, get some soy sauce in the mix. Ooh, shit! Mushrooms are one of my favorite vegetables. It's like corn, carrots, mushrooms are like my, probably my top three. I'm trying to think. I mean, especially when you get into the different kinds, like enoki mushrooms. Ooh, shit! Bean sprouts. Ooh, I think mushrooms. Because, like, regular bland mushrooms, I think bean sprouts might be up there. Because bean sprouts? Fuck. Can we get rid of carrots or bean sprouts? It's definitely corn one. Corn one, maybe carrots and bean sprouts. Or corn and bean sprouts. Yeah, probably carrots and bean sprouts. Sometimes I have mushrooms and I'm like, I don't even want this shit. But carrots, like, mm. <clears throat> Mushrooms are disgusting. That's your opinion, detective. No, it's a fact. Okay. Anyway, Martin's been super spooked out because he's been hearing weird noises all over the island. Any idea what those noises could be? Mmm. I have to listen to my radio while dancing. Kiss FM. Ross and Oak in the morning. This, ca this cave has a lot of holes. Except your radio could easily travel up to the surface. I bet it sounds super warm too. You know you've been trapped in here, okay? The cave has been blocked up by rocks. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, you could have died. <laughs> then I'd actually be a ghost. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we should head back up to the island. Yep. Well, we saw the mystery. It was Finley the whole time. It was Finley all along. Finley? Hi, Martin. Hi. Hey. Hi. What are you doing here? I was in the cave. You what? Why did you get in? This will seal up for weeks. Two weeks to be exact. Wait a minute. As it turns out... As it turns out, there was never a ghost. It was Finley in the cave all along. She was so wrapped up in practicing, she didn't even notice the cave got caved in. The noises from the radio carried out to the surface and sounded super spooky. But... My ghost books. I was just sure it was a ghost. No, just me. It just goes to show you should never twice books. True. Base detective. Don't always use the internet instead. <laughs> yeah, books are, without exception, factually inaccurate. Yep. So true, King. Oof. Grace Brooks, the creator of the game. Hi there, apologies for the interruption. I hope you're enjoying the game. I won't keep you for long, while I agree with the detective on most issues. For context in which books can be very useful and informative. It's important to check the validity of the author's sources and to check the books up to date. The internet can also be a useful place to find information. Make sure you're getting your information from a trusted site. Thank you for your time. Grace, uh, Bastner. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the game. Bye, Grace. So, anyway, as I was saying, books have no place in our society. Sure thing, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you for opening my eyes to the uselessness of books. You know what book I'm, uh, I'm reading? Uh, well, Carrie. But, uh, I want to start reading Pure and Essie. And also, I, uh, Rusty Brown is on sale for 12 bucks. It's like a graphic novel kind of thing. And I've heard good things. I really want to read that. So, uh, that's coming at the end of the month. It's 12 bucks at the Giga's deal. Anyways. You're very welcome. So, just to be clear, you're purchasing for the competition this whole time. Yep. Oh, yeah, by a minute to win it. I'm still not entirely sure what this game competition involves. Dance competition. Best dance ruin! Who's competing? Hmm. Well, that's a good point. Just us, I guess. Don't forget to borrow the mouse. Who? What are the ghost artists? The what? Don't worry about it. I think we need more entrance. I know a few hardworking friends who could use a good boogie, but they won't be here tomorrow. Well, let's win the competition to today. Yeah. 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 Poor natural resource. Thanks for talking to the mystery detective. No problem at all. That's a lot of help. Then we figured out where the noise was coming from. Larry, there's a lot of want to touch over everybody. Yep. Well, now I'll give my to Larry, too. So, shall we boogie? Let's go. Everyone on the island played a part. Everyone. Even that bitch ass koala. Holy shit, dance break. A game by Grace Wilson. Okay, so that's for Detective. What a cute little game. Programming. Thomas Bunker. Holy shit, they're busting some moves. Soundtrack, Dan Golding. Thanks for playing. Is the Mystery Monkey not wearing pants? Special thanks to Doug Wilson, Eliza Kane, Terry Burdock, Jake Strasser. Thanks, Nico Disseldorf, Stuart Gillis, and Cook, Michael Romance, and William Wayne. I can't read all that shit, man. Not shit, I can't read all that. Sorry, I didn't say shit. I didn't mean to like that, guys. 
I'm sorry, Chiselmer. Let's see who's, who's dancing the best here. I mean, I can't. Fresh X is kind of hitting that shit. I'm kind of hitting that shit though. Look at me. Ugh. Oh god, I think we're practicing. That was a practice game. Whatever. Who started? Oh, show the judge. All right, let's see. Let's see what you got. Okay, qual. It's a 1960s ass move. Hell no. Okay, Martin. Ugh. 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 Okay. Little basic, little bland. Bernie, come on now, Bernie. One man punk line? Are you serious? Oh, that's a shopping cart. Okay, hips. Okay, hips. I kind of fuck with the shopping cart. The single ladies? <laughs> Ugh, Larry. Hold on, it is on B. It's got the orbit. YMCA, what the fuck is that? That's all right. Ugh, fresh X my go. He just had a dab. Yeah. I mean, Mystery Monkey hitting that shit. I can't lie. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, Mo. Okay, Mo. I thought you were breakdancing. You just pulled the fucking robot. Oh shit. Oh shit! Oh my god! Did he just do the, did he just do the gun move? Wait, did he just do that move? <laughs> that looked exactly like that one clip on the kid on the playground. He's on the track court. And he like, shoots a gun at- <laughs> Oh my god. Who's the- what's his name? Noodle? Noodle. I gotta go Noodle, man. Noodle killed that shit. Noodle killed that shit. It's probably Fresh X, but Noodle killed that shit. Respectfully. Bye bye, y'all. Congrats, Noodle. You killed that shit. Ba 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 da ba da ba 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 da ba da ba 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 Noodle, yeah, Noodle killed that shit. Holy fuck. Fresh X, I was a little disappointed. I think if we, if we gave Fresh X a little time, he's about, he's ready to cook. He had a dab, though. No, not Fresh X. Who was it? It wasn't Fresh X. It was, it wasn't Mo. Someone was, like, cooking, but they weren't ready to get into it. Someone should have busted out a Dougie or something, man. Look at us. Look at the crew. Look at the squad. Uh, Finley had the hips. All right, damn, I'll pick it up. Jesus. For Detective Crime Solving Agency, for Detective Speaking, how may I help you? Detective! Supervisor! Great work on the Haunted Island mystery. Thank you, I tried really hard. I don't think even Lobster Cop could have solved that one. I think you underestimated it, that's a real one. Fuck! 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 I think you underestimated Lobster Cop. You're probably right. Anyway, I'll show you Buster Groove at the dance competition. Yeah, country, yep. He reminds me of the penguin from Bojack. That was Pat Nozzle. I'm not doing the Pat Nozzle impression, but I think he's just the penguin in his suit. Come on. Is that your Buster Groove with the dance competition? Yeah, when you see that? It was on TV, every channel. Every channel? In HD. Cool. I didn't even see any cameras. Well, you certainly impressed the public. My phone has been ringing off the hook. Mostly the calls are about your dancing, but I did get one call about a case. Have you heard of a Warlock Woods? I haven't. Well, there's something very strange going on there. They need our best investigator on the job. Oh, Mr. Cobb wasn't available? Nah. Can you handle another case, Detective? I can handle anything. Oh, shit. The detective will return in. The detective will return in. The chase of the invisible wizard. Pog champion. Loading. Look at the gate on that guy. Alright, yeah, thanks for watching. That was Frog Detective 1, the haunted island. I hope you enjoyed because I enjoyed it a lot and it was really fun. Thanks for watching and like and subscribe and comment down below if you want to see more. Doesn't matter if you want more.
Or if you don't, because I'm still going to play Architect 2 tomorrow. Do-da-do-da-do.